um, if you hold anger, guess what comes to you? A lot of very angry people do. And I certainly know that to be true. And when I've observed my own life and the lives of others, it's very obvious that what they're putting out in their state of being is creating their physical life. And there's nothing more debilitating, more controlling and limiting than the victim mentality. We're encouraged by this manipulation throughout our lives to see ourselves as victims, to blame someone else. Oh, I'm a victim, I'm in this situation because of A, B, C, D, and on it goes. And when we're in that state, we're going to stay in that state because when you think you're a victim, the victim vibe goes out, the victim circumstance goes in. When you say, hey, I'm not a victim, I'm in control of my life, I've created these circumstances I don't like, therefore I can create circumstances I do. At that point, the victim mentality is gone, victim circumstances stop being attracted, and suddenly people come into your life who are just the people you need to get you out of the circumstances you don't like. And if you don't realize what's happening, and most of us don't at the time, we say, oh my God. Oh, mate, I was so lucky. This fella came into my life at just the right time. This person, I couldn't believe it. Amazing luck. No, you pulled them in because your state of being had changed and you synced with what you needed to get out of that situation. We are so in control of our destiny, it's unbelievable. And yet billions are persuaded they're not and therefore they create a very different reality. So if we're in fear, we can attract a reflection of fear. But when we emit love, we create a very different energy, therefore we create a very different reality. It's just a choice. Everything is just a choice. I keep hearing people say, oh, I had no choice, mate. I had to do it. We never have no choice. We have choices we'd like to make, choices we'd rather not make, but we never have no choice. It's a cop-out. And some people find it very difficult to take this on because it's much easier in their own mind to blame someone for what happens in our lives. Much more of a challenge to say, hey, I've created this. I'm responsible for it. But when you do, you stop creating what you don't like and you start creating what you do. And this love connection is the key to removing this manipulation and taking humanity onto another level of existence, another level of consciousness, which is what's happening to so many people in this period we're going through now. Um, there's been some tremendous science that's going on um, over the last few years and is going on now. Um, Open-minded science, which is uh, challenging this, this tunnel vision that official science has to keep us from what's really going on. One um, excellent place of this research is uh, called the um, Heart Math Institute in America. And uh, what they've shown, and people like Greg Braden in his videos in a book called um, Awakening to Zero Point, which I would recommend, um, have been looking at and uh, communicating, is this scientific confirmation that what I'm talking about here is not some airy-fairy concept, but is actually scientifically provable, as well as from our own experience. What they've shown, for instance, is if you put um, um, uh, an empty jar with electrons in it, um, when you put a piece of DNA in it, that energy forms itself in the jar to the DNA form. When you take the DNA out, the energy still holds that DNA form. In other words, when we're walking uh, through our lives in the supermarket or whatever, oh my goodness me, the price of fish this week, um, when we're doing all that stuff, we're actually resonating and changing the energy field around us in relation to our state of being. So you don't have to be kind of in front of a camera talking about this stuff. You can do it in your everyday life. If you go out with an open heart and love in your heart, you will be changing the energy field to that resonance of love wherever you go. Insignificant, ordinary, there's not an ordinary man, woman, blade of grass, breath of air, insect, anything, anywhere in creation. But there are billions on this planet who think they are, so they live ordinary lives. Just because they think they're ordinary. They are the extraordinary, they are genius waiting to happen. It's just a choice, it's just a thought. Another thing that's been established by this open-minded scientific research is that fear, because everything's about wavelengths and resonating energy to various frequencies, fear is a long, slow wavelength. And as the wavelength of fear passes through the DNA, it does not activate these various antennae which connect us to the bigger world, the bigger cosmic um, uh, mind. But the 
um, wavelength of love is very quick, a very short wavelength. And therefore, it, it, as it passes through us, it's activating these antennae all the time and connecting us to the, the outer world. Now, this is interesting from many points of view, not least this. Everything relates to everything else the more you talk. The reason, or one key reason, why the uh, imposition of fear and the manipulation of fear has been imposed upon the human race all these thousands of years since this control began is because it comes from a level of knowledge that understands how these things work. It understands, therefore, that if we can be manipulated into a state of fear, we are disconnecting ourselves from the infinite mind, who we really are, and the eggshells start to form. When we open ourselves to love and this heart vortex opens, we start to reconnect with all that exists and who all we really are. So the pressure has been to keep us in fear and to keep us in conflict, i.e. fear. And also it's been understood that because we cr create our own reality by our state of being, our imagination of ourselves, it's been understood that if through outside influences, manipulations, propaganda, etc., our imagination of ourselves can be manipulated to be ordinary man and woman in the street, I've got no power, then through this process, our imagination of self, I am ordinary and powerless, will create a physical experience of being ordinary and powerless. So therefore, billions of people on this planet have been manipulated through this process of indoctrination to create a lifetime of ordinary, powerless existence, when if this changes, it's all gone. For me, what we call soul, the highest expression of ourselves, is pure love. I don't care who you are, what your background is, what you've done, I don't care if you're Henry Kissinger or George Bush or David Rockefeller or the Queen of England or any of these guys that have been manipulating the world and still are, at that level of yourself, you're pure love. Everyone is. But we can become disconnected from that level and manifest in that disconnection anything but pure love. But that's what we all are, all of us.
we live forever. We are everything and everything is us. Whatever we're experiencing in this moment, it's just an experience. We live forever. And if we can hold that focus of who we are, we get out of ordinary little man and woman in the street, I've got no power, to I am everything ex that exists and I can manifest and create whatever I want. We are genius. We've forgotten we're genius. And that's why a few people run the world.